Hello and welcome to Grok Trade. My name is Jerry Usher, a graduate student in the mentoring program, and today is Monday, February 14th, 2011. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. We're going to take a look here at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we have yet another higher high and a higher low. Lots of resistance and support lines on here. Uh, I drew another smaller one from this swing high to this swing high here. Look, we closed just at that today. We had a little support line down here from this red stick uh, up to this swing low here. Uh, we actually came down and tagged on it and actually um, almost opened at that line. Um, very interested in seeing what the markets are going to do the next few days. Uh, to me, it looks like they're a little under pressure. Um, it looks like we're, we're getting ready for a drop. This is a rising wedge, so these break down more than they break up. So uh, keep your eye on the markets. Very, very interesting. Okay, we're going to start off by taking a look at Fossil. This is the stock that we we uh, looked at all last week and the week before that and the week before that. We were looking at this guy for quite a while. Uh, this guy was in a uh, bull flag and it has since broken out. Now, earnings are tomorrow. Today's the 14th, tomorrow's the 15th. These come out pre-market. Hopefully you've been looking at that and, and you knew about that and uh, hopefully you closed out your, your position at this point. Um, it's very risky to hold over earnings. You never know what's going to happen. It can open up high and uh, you can be uh, the hero or it's just as likely to gap down uh, and then you can be a, a pretty big uh, loser, let's just say. You know, uh, It's very risky to hold over earnings. So um, I'm out and hopefully you are too. And uh, what a run we had here. We're going to wait for this guy to set up again. Uh, maybe a nice slight uh, bull pullback would be nice to see. Or a high base. Um, or who knows, maybe it'll just keep going and going. And we'll just have to wait to jump in. And You want to wait for that setup though. So Fossil, what a great stock. Hopefully you were able to catch, catch that run as well. I have a new bear uh, bull stock for you. Uh, is FDO, Family Dollars. Uh, this actually already broke out. It was in a rising, or I'm sorry, a falling wedge. Uh, falling wedges are bullish, uh, and we did break out, and I was able to catch it here. Now, I didn't feature this last week, um, but I had this. This was a, another stock of our bull list. Uh, those of you that are subscribers to the V Newsletter, you knew about FDO, and uh, you probably caught it as well. For those of you that don't subscribe, I highly recommend subscribing. And uh, and here it is anyway. So uh, we have another setup. We have a high base. High base, we're looking for a breakout above these highs here. If so, with volume and market confirmation, that would be a great entry. You want to put your stop right down here below the high base. Uh, we are above the 20-day moving average, which is great. Uh, also, we have uh, some... Uh, MACD, uh, we are getting lower ticks, but we are above the zero line, so that is also bullish as well. Uh, so FIDO, I like to call it, FDO, uh, this is our bull stock of this week. We're going to watch this guy and hopefully we'll get a breakout. Now bear stock, I also have a new bear stock. A bear stock is a company that has very weak fundamentals um, and they're usually overpriced. Uh, and waiting for the right time to break down and usually when they break down they break down pretty fast and hard we're looking at wolf w o o f and you can see here that we have the ripings in the making for a uh, for a bear pullback okay we started making a lower swing low we did that uh, several days ago um, and we made a uh, swing high. If we turn over now, we have a, a possible lower swing high, which would then be a confirmed downtrend. We have a doji at the top of an up leg, which is a sign of reversal. And uh, I just heard Des say on his video that he's offering a free uh, webinar tomorrow night. You need to send an email to mike at grocktrade.com to get an invite. And he plans on uh, teaching you uh, for free some of the bearish and bullish reversal signs uh, made by candlesticks. And this is one of them right here. This is a uh, bearish uh, reversal sign. Doji at the top of the leg. Now, uh, bear pullback. We are uh, not above the uh, 68 point, uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. 
Uh, we're below that, which is still good. Now, if we get higher than that and close higher above that, then it's a little bit too strong. So we're at the we're at the strong end. Don't get me wrong. Um, Fibonacci's are still good. Okay, let's talk about the good things of this setup. Uh, we have a possible bearish uh, reversal pattern candlestick. We also have a possible high, lower swing high. We are below the 61.8. We're almost in a confirmed downtrend. Um, and we have lower volume on the rise. All good things. Uh, now, some negative things to go short. Negative, we're above the 20 and 50 day moving average. Ideally, we want to be below those. Also negative, if you haven't read this by now, I'm sure you have earnings coming out Thursday, February 17th. That is two days away. Uh, two open trading days away. Uh, if you you know were listening to my earlier warning about fossil tomorrow holding over earnings is very risky and it is not recommended so um, if you were to get into this trade you need to get out of it right away by Thursday so maybe you know it's not a good time to get in it might be better just to watch this guy and see how it develops so we can if we can get a lower swing high uh, that's a con confirmed downtrend then we'll just wait for another entry after that so that's playing it safe also negative, we're above the zero line here on the MACD. So for the three positives we have, we have three negatives. So um, use your just your your best judgment on this. It is a nice setup in ways, but also not so nice in other ways. I hope you all have a great trading day, and looking forward to working with you this week. And uh, take care, and good night, everybody.